Sup guys, so rumor has it that everyone in card battles is now using me and Tyler's strategy, so I took it upon myself to see if this is actually the case by playing in the highest possible arena, Ceramic Crucible. But as we all know, Crucible is full of shitters, so it's probably likely that a lot of the people we will be facing will not have watched the tournament games. But yeah, for all of you wanting to use this strategy, let it be known that it was designed for round 38 tournament rules and not quick battles, so if you end up losing with this deck because the game goes super epic late game and you get outscaled by the opponent's monkey temples, well don't blame me for that. If you paid close attention to the beginning, though you'll have noticed I made a few tweaks to my deck, to account for the fact that I will be playing a lot of shitters in quick battles. The short map deck remains the same, however for my other decks I add the 60 zebra scent just so I have something cheap to kill noobs with otherwise I'd have to be dragging the game out to ZOMG sense to kill them, which is far too long for me. Anyways. From the title our main focus will first be about the veteran card. Not this week's, which is the 03 Dark Monkey, I already talked about it before and put it to good use as a solid starting tower for the tournament. Rather I want to talk about next week's card, which is the 4-1 Sniper. Let us take a look at it. For $9000 you can get yourself either the tower or 4 spaced BFB sets on round 19 for a very tiny loss of 100 income. Now you probably want my thoughts on this card, and to start it off I will say that the tower is complete and utter garbage, despite the fact it costs half as much as classic battles. That said, if your goal is to go super late game then sure, it's not a bad card to extend your survival by an extra few rounds, but at the end of the day you're not gonna be using it before then. However, Boy does that BFB send look juicy. In fact I'm thinking this rush card would be a really really good counter to my strategy because I don't think a single ground zero will do the trick, since the BFBs are spaced. Funny how spaced BFBs are actually harder than group ones isn't it, lol. But yeah, the thing with spaced blimps is that there's four of them. So by the time the fourth one appears the first BFB will likely already be popped meaning you have to ground zero that, leaving you with Moab scraps that you'll have to clean up without the ace ability. This is all just theoretical by the way, I haven't tested this with anyone yet so I'm only assuming it will be tough to defend with my strategy. So overall, if you previously had a BFB rush or similar card in your deck then it wouldn't be a bad idea to swap it out with this card. Now I want to talk about what this video is actually about, the possible leaked future veteran cards. If you recall a few videos ago I mentioned I came across this comment linking to a paste bin which listed all the future veteran cards to come. However there was no proof it was legit because the information was just from some random guy from the internet. But what do you know, once Wednesday came around I saw the new card and then it hit me, the list is probably legit, the dude likely got access to some game files that stored this information and bam, easy as that. I'm 99.9% .9 certain it's true at this point unless this guy magically happened predict the card to the exact cost, type and send. But I don't believe in magic, so I'm going to go with 100%. If you want a link to it I'll put it in the description, take a look at the list and some of the cards certainly look very interesting. Just a note though that the round unlock for the balloon sends are incorrect, they're all off by 2 for some reason, but once you adjust for that then every card certainly looks reasonable enough to be in the game. But even then I can tell there's a few cards that will never get used if it's released in that current state. Like the 4-2 Glue Gunner, who the hell would use the tower yet alone bring a rush card that sends comma regan pinks, lol. Might as well send those camo yellows from the card right below it if you want to quickly kill someone with zero detection. That said, I'm liking some of the other veteran cards that are listed there like the 2-3 Sniper. It's not so much the regrow black send that makes it interesting, while it does look like a decent send, the tower might mix some shit up because it's dirt cheap while providing great defense against those pesky ceramic and moab rushes. 
Also there is the Zero 4 engineer, it says the balloon portion sent to ZOMGs from easily cost of 11k, wow, I haven't been this excited for something since no clothes family day. Though the card does completely shrek your ego, but I wouldn't give a shit about as long as I get a W out of that rush. So yeah, a lot more other cards are there. But I don't think I have the time to sit down and explain it in depth to all of you like you're little children. I'm sure by now you have the power and knowledge to tell which cards on that list are yay and which are nay. That'll do for me, as you just saw in the previous game the dude's BFB rush got absolutely demolished by the ground zero, baby rage I can't believe he used such a boring tower baby rage. No but seriously, I saw some comments around YouTube legit shitting on me for tryharding, using OP towers and defending every rush, and let me just say those comments are even worse than those from people not purchasing a sarcasm detector. A reminder that if you're one of the giveaway winners and haven't responded to my PM yet, please do so otherwise I'll give the medallions to another random entry if it does not get picked up by next video. So if you didn't win then not to worry, there's possibly a second chance. Likes are appreciated, comments too, and since I haven't done any jokes in a while let us break that streak. Wanna hear a joke, ceramic crucible in 2016 law. Have a spoiled day.